Hi guys. Today's learning intention is to solve more complex trigonometric equations. Let's look at an example question. Solve for theta if tan of theta, tan of three theta equals one, where theta is an angle that's between zero and 360 degrees. Okay, so you can see that this question is slightly different than the ones we were doing in the previous lesson because the angle is three times theta. So the first thing we're gonna do in these questions is substitute in x for three theta. We will continue the question and solve for x. And at the very, very end, we will substitute in three theta for x. Okay, so remember, let's have a look at what this question means. This question is asking you to solve for the angle x, which gives you a tan value of 1. You want all of the angles between 0 and 360 degrees that give you a tan value of 1. Step 1. Find your reference angle. This means we want to solve for x. tan of x is equal to 1, therefore x is equal to inverse tan of 1, x is equal to 45 degrees. Step 2. We're trying to solve tan of the angle equals 1. That means we're looking for a positive value of tan. You need to establish where tan is positive. Draw out our unit circle and using all silly turtles crawl, we can see that tan is positive in the first quadrant and tan is positive in the third quadrant. This means we are looking for the values of our angle in the first and in the third quadrant. What is the angle that gives us a tan value of one in the first quadrant and in the third quadrant. Okay, so find the value of x for which tan of x is equal to one. x is in the first quadrant, so this gives us an angle that is equal to our reference angle. The angle of x in the second quadrant sorry, that should say, in the third quadrant is equal to 180 degrees plus a reference angle. This means that x is equal to 45 degrees and x, our angle, is equal to 225 degrees. Now, step four we need to write a general solution. A general solution is a way in which we can find all of the angles between zero and 360 degrees that give us a tan value of plus one. This means for every rotation, that means every single time that we go around the circle, we're adding on 360 degrees and we arrive at the same point. For your general solution, we add 2n pi or 360n to our angles. The n is the number of times we add on 360 degrees or 2 pi, i.e. the number of times we loop around the circle to get to the same point. In our case, our general solution for x is 45 plus 360 times n, or x is equal to 225 plus 360n. These are the two general solutions 
which will give the angle that creates a tan value of positive one. Okay, so we find our general solutions in terms of x, but remember what you're trying to find. We're trying to solve for theta. So here, we substitute in three theta for x. This gives us our general solutions as three theta equals 45 plus 360 times n, or three theta is equal to 225 plus 360 times n. Now, to solve for theta, we have to divide our whole equation by three. We're left with our general solutions as theta equals 45 over three plus 360 over three times n or 225 over three plus 360 over three times n where n is just the number of times that we are looking around our circle. Okay, now that we find our general solutions, which will give you the values of theta between zero and 360 degrees, we now have to substitute in n as zero, one, two, etc., to find all of the values of theta that are between zero degrees and 360 degrees. Let's start off when n is equal to zero. This is your first time around the circle. This gives us theta is equal to 45 over three plus 360 times zero over three, or theta is equal to 225 over three plus 360 times zero over three. This gives us theta is equal to 15 degrees or 75 degrees. Remember, we are trying to find all of the values of theta that are between zero and 360 degrees. So we have to continue around the circle until we reach a value of theta that is close to or greater than 360 degrees. Okay. Let's go around the circle again. So we make one full rotation, i.e. we add on 360 degrees to each of our values, which is the same as substituting in for n equals one. Okay, substituting in n is equal to one into our general solutions. This gives us 45 over three plus 360 times one over three, or theta is equal to 225 over three plus 360 times one over three. This gives us theta equals 135 degrees or 195 degrees. Remember, we need to find all of the values of theta that are between three, zero and 360 degrees. So we're gonna to have to go around the circle again to find the next angle. We're going to substitute into our formula when n is equal to two. This gives us theta is equal to 45 over three plus 360 times two over three, or theta is equal to 225 over three plus 360 times two over three. This gives us a value of theta as 255 or 315. We do not need to substitute in when n is equal to three, as this will give us a theta value that is greater than 360 degrees. This gives us our final answer. Of theta equals 15 degrees, 75 degrees, 135 degrees, 195 degrees. 225 degrees and 300 and 15 degrees. 
All of these values must be given for you to get full marks. So remember, when doing these questions, follow the exact steps. Find your reference angle. Find the angles for which you have a positive or negative sine, cosine or tan, depending on what the question asks you for. Find your general solution. Substitute in n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. to your general solution until you have all of the values of theta for the angles you're asked to find it between. Okay guys, using this, please make sure. Okay guys, please make sure that you write down the example step by step into your notes book. It is very important that you follow the exact steps in these. It is very important when you're doing out your solution that you show each part. Then I want you to use those exact steps and complete on page 240, exercise 7.7, .7. question 5, part 1, 2, 3, 4, and then your challenge, if you want to try it, is part 5. Please note for your challenge, you are dealing with a fraction.